My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop. So this is a bit of a, a chat about cooling and all that stuff and the environment and the system that these... Uh, the environment that these systems have to operate within. I was going to say the environment and the systems that have to operate in this system. That is redundant. Any road. Uh, this is an excerpt... An excerpt? Excerpt? Pff, pff, excerpt? Whatever. It's just a bit out of another video. So I'm doing the XJ engine, but I thought I'd just cut this separate bit out just to talk a bit about cooling with the finger. Twin spark plugs, twin electrode, because they've done a bad job of designing the cylinder head again. What is that shit on there? These look like that. These are taught to yields. Uh, how do I know? Uh, massively reduced diameter and the fact that they don't really screw out the head. So they, they get they get stuck. Right. Got to pull that washer out with it, but they're there. These will come as an assembly, these washers. So these are torque to yield bolts. We'll have to get a full set, unfortunately. <laughs> um so yeah. I've got some real shit in there. But yeah. So, talk to yield bolts. Uh, nicely spaced out valves, actually. I'm a bit. They've gone. This is a conservative engine, not a race engine. The valves are. There's quite a squish band. The valves are very uh, conservative, as you can see. There's a big gap there. A big gap here. You, you, you know, when you get to like race engines and stuff, they literally make the most of everything they've got. Um, as you can see, there's giant coolant passages on the exhaust side. But on the intake side, there's these little restrictors, little tiny things. So you've got that one. And as you can see as well, there's the main gallery feed down here. Oh, you can't see. So down here... There is the main gallery feed from the engine. So that cools. That's oil that's been round circulated round the cooler, all that jazz. That's cooler than the head. So this side of the head is cooled. There's also a big hole here for a cam chain tensioner. There's also a big hole here for a, a you know, so heat can piss out through these kind of, you know, that you'll take the heat with it. If you've got anything that's circulating, even if it's oil from the head that's then coming back down, you'll get some kind of a cooling effect because the oil will give it to the head, the head's outside, you know, the outside of the head is outside. So you'll notice that it's this cylinder that has two um, main coolant pot passages and then there's these two here, All right? So this one cylinder has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flowing regions. That's because this side, this cylinder is the one that gets the hottest. And why does it get the hottest? Because it has a cylinder this side of it and a cylinder this side of it. And these are these are your sources of heat. Right? You might say, well, well, this one here, this one's got this one this side of it and this one this side of it. But this one is being you know, it's got the outside world, which you can't see, the outside world where it can eject heat that way as well. So as you're going, Meh! air is, you know, it's been conducted to the air around it. Not perfectly, but it is. Uh, not only that, is the outlet for the head is here. So like I say, there's more flow in this region. You know, this, in other words, it's been ejected here. So if you were to think of like, um, smoke, right, in a room, closest to the door, as soon as the door opens, that's the place, even though all the smoke in the room is ejecting that way, it is flowing past you and getting out where it's the people in the bottom corner, in the corner of the room that are buggered. So in a sense, this cylinder is the corner of the room. So what you have is uh, this cylinder is cooled more. And you can see there's a bias, there's a passage there, there's a passage there. Not here, and not here, a larger passage. So the coolant is biased to this cylinder. So this region right here, this cylinder region right here is the hottest. 
it's pr the the injection system is probably also tailored so this cylinder might get an extra bit smidgen more of fuel, just a tad bit, like a five percent, something or two percent, something like that, just to help with the cooling. But you can see directly in the gasket that this has more cooling passages to basically wherever there's flow is where you're going to get the best cooling. And as you can see in this corner, you see in this corner, there's now nothing. There's one there, a coolant passage there, none here. Why? Because this gets ad adequately cooled. Down here as well, there's nothing here. Like I say, there's the, the port there, and there's actually a pressure relief port next to it. Um, but yeah, you, you've got a hole there, a hole there, they're similar, but on this side, there's nothing there, there's nothing there. Then it's not mirrored, there's, it's mirrored down that center line there. So that's where it's mirrored. Apart from this port, you see that 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 port there isn't that port there. So this is this is the hottest cylinder. This is the bad boy. This is the hot region right in here. Um, so yeah, cool stuff, eh? But yeah, there's nothing wrong. It just needs cleaning up. Just literally just needs cleaning. It's all just carbon. This is all normal. So this is what an engine would look like after eight thousand miles. It's pretty normal, and that's the thing, right? Is that you know. People are like, oh, you know, that engine looks bad. It's like, this is an 8,000 mile old engine and it looks like this. This is just what happens. This is what engines look like. You know what I mean? And you can see, you can always tell which one's the, in, the intakes and the exhaust because the intakes are always cooler, which means that the carbon can condense and stick on there a bit more, where on there it just gets burnt off. The, the, and what I mean by burnt off is it's not literally on fire. What it means is, is that the car the the carbon tries to stick to the exhaust valves but the the energy is how well you can do the the the, the mumba right it's how well you can you know like a, like it's like it's like a rave right so when things are hot it's because people are raving proper solid bruv solid you know <laughs> <laughs> They've had far too many E's and you can't get anywhere near them. Like if you wanted to have a fight with a spacker at a rave, you can't, because he's so much giving it the cardboard box and little fish shit, you can't get anywhere near him. He's just you know what I mean? He's like Mike Tyson, he's just dodging and weaving all over the place. And that's the energy of the system, right? Is that the carbon when it tries to stick to it, it literally gets vibrated. Well actually it gets given energy and it goes, fuck this shit, and it run it runs off, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, trying to do anything on a, on a vibrating washing machine, like trying to draw a picture of something. It's just a mess. And that's, that's the energy state of things, where these valves are cooler, so it's easier to then condense on them. And, and you've got to remember that you might think of condensation, like with water and stuff. But no, it, condensation, it, all of these things are atoms, right? So the same things apply. Um, you can get, like, you can get gold to condense on a surface, um, when you do like vapor deposition and shit like that, so you know there's there's it, it, it applies to atoms, not just like what we regularly think of like water and ice and freezing and stuff like that. You know, so when when a, a metal that is liquid when that turns into a solid solidifies, we call it. It's basically freezing. That's what it is. It's just that the general parlance of the word freezing means that it's bloody cold, not it's gone from a, a phase transition. But anyway, that's geeking out on all this kind of shite um yeah so coolant temperature sensors in the head not in the I, I, it might have an additional one but coolant temperature sensors there thermostats here so this is a kind of a different way of um mounting it in a sense i think this is a regular way cooling system i have to check it could be an upside down jobby where it goes into the head first and then goes into the cylinders but because the thermostat's there i imagine it's the other way around no i imagine it is that way around actually but any road um that they try and cool the head first and then secondary to the cylinders and all that shite you could see in the block as well that all of the uh, uh coolant had all gone jelly fired and stuff Eight thousand miles it is a you got to remember this bike is a 2010 bike, so it has been sat for 15 years. Or it's someone's probably never changed the coolant ever, I imagine. But yeah, it, the 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 propylene glycol crystals they do like you know eventually crystallize and turn to shit and all that. That's pretty normal. But we'll flood all that out. It'll all look brand new by the time we're finished. Um, 
but no, no, there's no work as far as I can see so far. No work needs to be done to this engine, right? So that there's no, we're not going to port it or anything crap like that, unless there's a big nugget in there that needs taking out or something just for the sake of it, you know, the hell of it. It's just going to get cleaned, stripped, cleaned, and then repainted and all the fasteners that are dog shit like all of these studs they're all going to get done top to heel bolts are all going to get replaced all the gaskets are going to get replaced apart from the uh crankcase breather matrix on top i might reuse that one uh, because unless it comes in a kit and you just get it all for one price i might actually just buy and not bother because who gives a shit about that one if we're being honest, you know what I mean? Um, so some of these bits are going to need replating, like the, the lever for the bloody clutch. Uh, I might replate that. I might Cerakote that, but I think I'll replate it because the spring sits against it, so nothing's harder wearing than the ultimate zinc. Nothing in the world is harder than zinc. It's even harder than chalk. Any road, we'll uh, crack on splitting the cases it's not going to be too difficult i want to drain the oil out of it now it's in this condition see I'm, i don't know how much oil's in it but i know there is some in it and uh hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit <laughs> 